Hey, what's up guys? Jim Labuda here once again. And today we're gonna take a look at the golf swing of Patrick Cantley, currently ranked fourth in the official world golf rankings. Now, Patrick Cantley is not known for being a super long player off the tee, but he does average over 300 yards on every drive last PGA Tour season. So how does Patrick generate this kind of club head speed to average 300 yards off the tee? Let's go ahead and take a look at that today. First thing we're going to talk about setup. Again, if we look at his spine angle here, very neutral spine position. I love that position that he's in there. Now setup, we've talked a lot about this. Your hip sockets directly over your ankles, knees just slightly forward. Maybe you could bend these a little bit more, get them over the toes a little bit more. But again, that's not a bad position he's in right now. Now, as Patrick starts to take the golf club away, we're going to get it back here to where it stops parallel to the ground. Again, you can see here, club head just slightly outside the hands. He's got a real nice position here with his shoulders, using his upper body to take the golf club away. The one thing you will notice at this point here, probably got a little bit more hip turn than most players at this point. The reason he does this is because as Patrick gets to the top of his swing, you can see from here, his hands are really high up in the swing, a little bit deeper than normal. Patrick Canley used to have a very, very short backswing. But what he's done is he, he's allowed himself a little bit more hip turn to try and get his hands and arms a little bit deeper in the swing to try and generate more club head speed and get more distance. So that's one reason and one way that Patrick now averages over 300 yards off the tee. So if you're struggling with making a full shoulder turn, first thing you can do is let's start increasing that hip turn a little bit. Let's get that right hip a little bit deeper in the backswing to allow those hands a little bit deeper at the top of your swing. Now, this is the key move as to why Patrick Canley averages so over 300 yards off the tee. We all know he's got a very, very smooth swing, but it's really his downswing. And what starts it is the lower body here. Left side is what starts pulling through, but he does not rush the downswing. Too many times amateur players from this position, once we start moving, with our lower body, we feel the need to really rush the downswing because that's where the speed's gonna come from. Yeah, you're right, that's where the speed is coming from, but let's stop rushing the downswing. Try maintaining a better tempo in your downswing. Let the speed come naturally. You may not feel it, but trust assured, you're gonna be generating more club head speed by getting that lower body moving first and allowing yourself to stop rushing the downswing. So those are really the two keys that I want you to remember about Patrick Cantley's swing and what you can learn from it. First thing is, again, as we get to the top of your swing, if you're struggling to you get your hands up high here in the swing, let's go ahead and let's get that right hip turning a little bit further back. Second thing is more of a tempo-related idea. Stop rushing the downswing. Let's make sure we're making contact with the golf ball in the center of the club face because that's what's going to generate more ball speed, which is going to turn around and give me more distance. So start swinging a little smoother. Think of Patrick Cantley's tempo, and let's stop rushing that downswing.